Hi there, it's Professor Monty again. Let's look at simplifying some radical expressions. Okay, so we want to simplify these, but what, what we need to remember is no rational, meaning no fractional, exponents are allowed in the answer. Okay, so we've got this one, it's the 12th root of x to the third power. Well, remember that 12th root means the 1 12th power. We can rewrite this as x to the 3 12th power. And then that can be reduced to just 1 fourth. So this is x to the 1 fourth. And it says no rational or fractional exponents allowed in the answer. So remember, that's just the fourth root of x. And we'll leave that as our answer. Okay, so we simplified it. It's still a rational exponent up here. We just changed to the fourth root. Okay, here's another one. Well, remember the square root means the one half power. So this whole thing is really a b to the sixth, and then if we want to say to the one half power, but remember a power to a power we multiply the exponents. So we're just going to multiply these together. Six times a half is just three. So what I get is a b to the third, and then remember I can distribute that in there. So that's going to be a to the third b to the third. That's going to be my answer. They may have left it this way. Either of those are right. They're both equivalent, so both of those are fine. We're not breaking any rule by leaving it one way or the other. Okay, and now what's this craziness? We've got the cubed root of xy, but the square root. So the square root of the cubed root. Can we do that? Well, we can if we use rational exponents. So remember, this is really the square root. There's a 2 there. So this xy... The third root is the one-third power. The square root is the one-half power. And then we remember, we just multiply exponents. So multiply straight across. One times one is one. Three times two is six. So this just becomes xy to the one-sixth power. And again, if they don't want fractions or rational exponents, then we just do the sixth root of xy. All right, so remember the properties of exponents. We're just using all those. They usually, you know, depending on what they want, they may not want any fractional exponents. So we do that. Just remember the properties, and we'll use these as we go periodically. So learn them, put them in your toolbox. They'll come in handy later.